a seat. Thanks. By the way, I forgot to ask on the train. Did you get my last letter? Yes, I got all of them. And I do feel better, I think. Nana restored most of my memories. I still feel like I'm missing something. But I feel better. Anyway, it was so nice of you to write. Unlike some people who apparently couldn't be bothered, Daniel. What? Oh, uh, sorry. I meant to write, but I was kind of busy. I got a little distracted during the summer. Oh, oh hey, look! Is that the professor? If it is, it's the strangest transfiguration I've ever seen. What is history? Hmm? Boring! <laughs> this is history. To you, this might be a boring old rock, but to me, it's part of the delicate tapestry of events that saved Hogwarts. Let me tell you where this rock has been. is everywhere. You just need to know how to find it. I've been all over the world, from the highest mountains to the deepest seas, looking for treasure. Um, I mean history. <laughs> Wherever I can find it. I'm your visiting professor, Jakob Gorski. Oh, heavens! History can be uh, <clears throat> quite expensive. Sometimes rare artifacts come at quite a price. <clears throat> and this is my... Um, <clears throat> Assistant Bly. He has a nose for shiny things. Including things that aren't his, so mind your valuables. And be careful with that one, boy. It seems to have a most unusual stamp. Well, of a price that hasn't been paid quite yet. And for your first task, I'd like you to uncover the secret history of the object at your desk. Done, class. I think you're ready to hunt for history at Hogwarts. As your assignment, I want you to identify a rare object or uncover a mystery. Hmm. There are undiscovered <laughs> treasures right in these very halls. Secret artifacts of untold value. And of deep historical significance, of course. <laughs> your search starts now. Class dismissed. Where'd you get that coin? You robbing banks now, Daniel? <laughs> Just ignore them. Like you did to me all summer. I'm sorry, Ivy, but my sister says our post is inconsistent where we live. Too many muggles in London. And I really wasn't in much of a mood to write. Especially not after I discovered this. I found it in my mom's dresser. I'm sure that it's important hmm. somehow. It's dated in the future. What does it mean? I wrote to my mom and asked about it. But she wouldn't tell me. She just said to keep it safe. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure I want to find out. What if it's something bad? What if... She's not totally innocent. Don't worry, Daniel. Right. No matter what this coin is, we'll be there for you. Thanks. That means a lot. But for now, can we please focus on completing our history of magic homework? Why don't we visit Hagrid? He knows Hogwarts better than anyone. He's bound to know something that's not in the history books. Hello, friends. You're just in time. Something smells delicious. It's so strange. Hagrid's place. I made a wee snack for my little brother. Mmm, smells delicious. It's like a dream. 
for him swimming in sweets. Can I offer you a piece? I don't reckon Grot will mind. He's been a bit under the weather, so I baked him his favorite pudding. What exactly is in this pie? It's me famous butterfly pie. It's mostly just butter and things that fly. I've just lost my <laughs> Uh oh, oh yep. Yeah. Don't think it's done. Oh. 
over with. Incendio. Thanks, children. I think it's done now. Crop will be thrilled. So, uh, what exactly can I do for you? We need to uncover a mystery at Hogwarts. A mystery about a lost treasure? Let me guess. The visiting history professor? How did you know? I saw him wandering around here the other day, muttering to himself that he was looking for something. Turns out he was lost. So I took him back to his quarters. So, Professor Hagrid, does that mean you know of some hidden treasures in Hogwarts? Well, let me tell you about something special that's been lost at Hogwarts. Finally. There's the Philosopher's Stone, good for keeping you young. But I guess Harry Potter found that. And there was all kinds of wonder in the Chamber of Secrets. 
But I suppose Harry found that too. Is there anything that Harry Potter didn't find? Of course there are! If only I could remember one of them. I know. If you listen to the portraits in the halls, sometimes they whisper about a map. A map that points away to a lost family heirloom. Suppose why is everyone so interested in some map all of a sudden? That professor of yours was asking me the same thing. Where is the map? Well, it's a secret. That's why they're whispering. Maybe we should ask them. Aye. But be careful what you uncover, children. Sometimes treasures are lost for a reason. I don't hear any whispering. Shh! Keep it down! Some of us are trying to sleep. We're sorry. This is nonsense. We should try and find something in our textbooks like everyone else. Where's the fun in that? Especially when there are all these beautiful paintings to explore. Maybe we need to try a new approach. I figure if we look at Hogwarts as a polyhedron with paintings on every side, we could increase our odds by covering each one. We should split up. Good idea. Kevin and Ivy, let's go check out the paintings in the Great Hall. You like to paint, don't you, Lottie? I love to paint. There's nothing that makes me as happy or as sad. What's the matter, Lottie? This reminds me of the paintings in my house. Wonderful landscapes, full of amazing creatures. My father would travel to these far-off, wondrous places so that he could paint what he saw with his own eyes. He promised he would take me with him one day, too, when I was ready. All the things he painted, he never painted himself. So I... I never got a chance to say goodbye. <laughs> what happened to your father? He went off to paint something uh, and never came back. Oh, are the pretty pictures making you cry? Or is it just the homework? Stop it, Cassandra. No, it's fine. We're on the hunt, just like you. Why don't we team up and work together? <laughs> team up? How are you going to find lost treasure when you can't even keep from weeping at the sight of a few old paintings? There's no way you're going to find something before us. It's not a competition. Of course it is. You think they give top points to the losers? I think you're missing the professor's point. No, the only losers here are you. Oh, really? Expelliarmus! <laughs> You've been practicing. Well, so have I. Bloody Corpus! Rick to Semper! This is all so silly. Can't we find a way to work together? <laughs> No, you don't! You're going to hurt a perfectly nice painting! I'll patch you up! Incendio!
Incendio. Magical! in the halls. You kids will be mine after I report you to the head mistress. That won't be necessary. They were just, uh, working on their assignment. But the dueling, Professor! Nothing wrong with a little spirited competition in the name of history. Oh. Find anything yet, students? Ah, looking at the paintings, I see. Uh, why? You must tell me what you've learned. You were trying to find a ma masterful painting! There are so many famous paintings here. You are not wrong, my budding history hunters, but I think we can dig deeper. Mm. I want to know what's behind the paint. You never know what's been lost. to warn you. Phil's just headed this way. Mm-hmm. You just missed him. And Daniel got hung upside down. Sounds like an improvement. <laughs> so, we're not in trouble on the first day. That's a first. No, Professor Gorski came to the rescue. You told him about the map? We didn't, actually. But it was a good thing that the Professor appeared when he did. Do you think he was spying on us? Seems like a bit of a coincidence. Either way, we should keep a low profile until we find the map. Maybe there's a reason the paintings whisper. But we didn't find anything. Shouldn't we ask for help? We should. And there's one person who knows more about the paintings in these halls than anyone else. Gossamer! <laughs> this is going to be fun! Let's go!